Why? Because I can. Yeah. Why? Because I can't. Cut. Stop. Cut. 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 Why? Be, why? Yeah. Let's let's get into it. I wanted to cut my intro off. You know, I got the hardest intro of all sneaker YouTube respects. Facts. Facts. But I wanted to cut it off because I want to get straight into it. We're going to talk about these lost and found Jordan 1s that are supposed to come out next month in November. Uh, put the picture up, please. There we go. Now, this random ass picture, some random ass person took a random ass picture at a random ass place and it had like these lost and found boxes on this little countertop. You see another little lost and found Jordan 1 box down there and all that. The big topic is backdooring of these lost and found sneakers. I don't understand why people act so surprised when it comes to certain shoes getting the backdoor treatment. Everybody knows when it comes to certain shoes, whether it's a collab or a hyped up shoe like a, oh yeah, it's time for Skip to get his Chicago one out. It's time for Skip to get his Chicago one. Let's Skip bring it. And you know, actually I'm not even gonna get my Chicago one. Damn that shoe. Y'all know I have it. I need to bring the Chicago one out. But when it comes to uh, that Jordan 1, that Chicago 1 colorway, which is the lost and found, is the Chicago 1 colorway. A colorway that people have been waiting since 2015 for it to come out. It's finally coming back out this year, and people are going to do what they do to do the do. We know this. Oh, the loss of pounds, man. They're getting back door. It's going to be 500,000 pounds. 500,000 pounds. Look. 500. No, actually, hell, it's not even 500,000 pairs anymore because I have a homie that I talked to on, uh, uh, on, on IG Live last night. He had a size of 7.5 through 14. He had because he doesn't even have my size 11 no more. You know why? Because he says, quote, I move them bitches, end quote. And I don't blame him. He's a reseller. He's going to do what he do. And he's going to make it do what he do, 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 do. Look at that. There is no 500,000 pairs of lost and founds. You already got sneaker YouTubers who already have their pair or pairs in hand. That's from that 500,000 that she let you all know. Because some of you all fail to realize that anybody who you see with an actual real pair, you know, there's going to be some Uchi Wallies out there. I call Uchi Wallies, Uchi, I call fake sneakers Uchi Wallies if you're new to the channel. Subscribe to the channel, by the way. I'm trying to put, I'm trying to put some game onto you all. I'm tired of my homies and my homets walking around looking lost with a big ass question mark hovering over their head like a goddamn Sims character. We need to cut that out. Homies, my homets, listen up. <laughs> Damn, I broke character. I'm supposed to stay in this shit. And action. Listen up. <clears throat> People are going to resell shoes. The Lost and Found Jordan 1. I'm going to start doing my politician hand. And politicians, they be holding their hand like that with their thumb out like that. <laughs> Lost and Found Ones is a sneaker that people are going to do whatever they need to do. Kick who's ever asked who needs to be kicked. Rob, still cheat, lie to get that shoe. Ain't that some shit? The Chicago colorway. That's the main thing about it. Now, the Lost and Found has a little crinkly uh, cracked leather. And then on the bottom of the shoe, it's acting as, as like, it's kind of like mold or whatever. Like the discoloration of the bottom of the shoe. If you haven't got a chance to see a Lost and Found Jordan 1 in person yet, I have. It's a neat, dandy shoe. It's nothing like the 2015 Chicago because the 2015 Chicago, that's a real Chicago 1. The pair you are going to get. It's not really a technically a Chicago. You're getting a, uh, a, a a Chicago colorway of a sneaker, but you're not getting a Chicago one. Hell, Nike even didn't even, Nike didn't even give it the name Chicago. They put lost and found on his ass. So you're not really getting a Chicago. But anyway, 500,000 pairs. Think about all the resellers who already have pairs in hand. Think about all the sneaker YouTubers that you know that you got a chance to see. Any sneaker YouTuber who did an early look of that 
uh, of the sneaker. Just think about, think about all the sneaker YouTubers you know that already have their pair. They ain't gonna have your pair. Hell, you think a sneaker YouTuber gonna help you get your YouTube pair? Don't let these sneaker YouTubers lie to you all. Hit a sneaker YouTuber up right now who has a pair of Lost and Found ones. Hit them up in the DM, and depending on how how big of a subscri uh, of a uh, depending on how many subscribers that they have, you will either get a speedy reply or you will never get a reply because they're, they're busy. They're busy doing other things. They got that Lost and Found pair for themselves. You think a sneaker YouTuber gonna be like, hey, I need I need to get some Lost and Founds. Uh, you know, I, I want to get like at least about a couple pairs and uh, I want to give it out to the people who've been supporting me all the years. Hell no. They got their size 12. They got their size 8. They got their size 11. They got a size 9 and a half. They're 10, 10 and a half, 11, 11 and a half, 12, uh, 8, 8 and a half, 9. They got their size. They ain't worried about y'all goof asses when it comes to certain shoes. They ain't, hey, look, dog eat dog world. It is a dog eat dog world. Get in where you fit in. Skip, are you saying that if you had a chance to get a whole bunch of lost and founds, you give it away to your subscribers? I'm not saying that, because I ain't got money like that. I gotta look out for myself. Shit, kiss my ass. And I'll kiss y'all's asses too, because that's how it is. I mean, you know, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. My homies and my homies, y'all think y'all gonna be like, hey man, uh, I'm gonna try to get skip his pair before I get my pair. Hell, hell no. Nah. Y'all gonna look out for yourself, you, you look out for me. Facts. And the feeling is mutual. Goddamn, I'm gonna look out and get my own goddamn pair before you get a pair. Look at this. But now, man. Cause everybody's always going so crazy when it comes to these to, to certain shoes, man. The Lost and Found Jordan One. People say it's gonna be easy to get. People say it's gonna be hard to get. People say there's gonna be pairs everywhere. My local stores already have them. One of my homies, I remember every time he will post shoes that they get at the stores. You know how sometimes on IG where somebody's stories you can actually like leave a comment whatever on their stories he got rid of that stuff he probably got tired of people always trying to hit him up for shoe 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 you can't even leave a comment on his stories no more i gotta go and click on this shit and go to the messages and hit him up in the dm hey i'm, I'm gonna ask you about that bro but anyway man look these shoes are gonna be easy to get depending on who you know or what you know that's facts if you have a plug no i'm talking about if you have a plug 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 Oh, yeah, your pair is already on deck. If you have a plug, that means they're going to look out for you. They're going to look out for you. Like, a plugs will look out for you. And if you, if you don't have any of that, you are working on off of straight hope, luck, and prayer to get a pair. Not to mention Nike Sneakers app. Everybody's going to have their Nike Sneakers app running. You're going to have your Nike Sneakers app. Whoever you are laying in bed with, doing nasty shit in bed, they're going to have their damn uh, Nike stickers at ready to help you out. Mom, dad, aunts, uncles, grandma, grandpa, anybody you may know, co-workers that don't even give a damn. Some co-workers don't even, don't even know what a goddamn shoe is. You be like, you know what a shoe is? No, I don't know what a shoe is, but look, hey, uh, you got an iPhone? Yeah, I got an iPhone. Yeah, okay, go get this app, man. It don't cost shit. Look, trust me. Hey, get this app. You got money, and we get paid on the same days. So don't pull that, uh, uh, you ain't get paid shit. We work together. We get paid on Fridays. Every other Friday, don't, uh, uh, all that shit, other uh, shit. People, people will find random ass people to upload Nike sneakers app on their phone to help them out. That's when it has, that, that is what it's come to, to trying to get sneakers. Lost and found one, a serious sneaker like this. Bruh, everybody, people are not BSing. Now, I remember resale, lost and founds were like, some people were paying a stack. Over, there people, some people were paying a comma for that damn lost and found one. I, yes, they were. Mm-hmm. But now, pairs started to go out. That comma went already down to like the 560s, 580s. That's what the average price of a of a 2022 lost and found Jordan one is, like 560, 580, and people are paying that ticket because nobody wants to have the boo boo look on their face on release day when they're looking at their phone and on Nike sneakers that that shit pops up be like, hey goof ending, hey sorry, <laughs> you missed your chance. And then what happens after that? Stock X brings this goof ass down. And be like, hey, uh, you lost all night. You, you didn't, you didn't get anything on Nike stickers out. But hey, come on down to Stock X. We got you. We'll take care of you. And then you gotta pay that resale ass price. Nobody wants to go through that. I don't want to go through it.
So what you all need to realize is that, look, good luck. Subscribe to my channel. I'm Skip Goes Hard, the most underrated, never duplicated, funniest sneaker content creator of them all. Facts. You all watch the video. You know I'm the funniest. Facts. Like this video, leave a comment, share the video, and subscribe to my channel, Skip Goes Hard. Do that. If you want funny content, dealing with shoes or anything else, subscribe to my channel. Thank you all. You all take care and good luck. I'm hitting shit. Good luck getting your lost and found ones because most likely you're not going to get a pair unless you know somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody. You know what I mean? Facts. I'm going to try to get a size 11, my size, early uh, so I can give you all a nice review. Now, if I got to look at my uh, collection and be like, uh, I think you can walk the plank and maybe you can walk the plank to lower that damn resale value down, I will do that. Because some resellers will do that. They'll be like, okay, well, I got what you want. Shit, man, you may have something I want. And then that's when you got to look in your collection and be like, um, I'll get rid of these Jordan 11s. Or I'll get rid of this Jordan 3 or this Jordan 4. And they'll be like, okay, yeah, we're going to knock that resale price. Okay, man, instead of paying this shit, you going to hell. Give me $100. You can just say, hey, hey, look at this. All that stuff, man. Man, y'all know what it is, man. I'm Skip Goes Hard, man. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, all my homies and my homies, my top eight of 2022. I didn't forget you all. The sneakers are right here. I'm going to have to do some stuff, but this is pretty much the top eight. My playoff. Well, we'll get to that later on. Because, no, people were... Uh, uh, People were asking me about my top eight of 2022. So I ain't forget about you all, man. You all take care, man. I'm good. And uh, that's it, man. Hey, I'm out. Peace, man. Subscribe to the channel, man. That's it. I'm funny. It's facts. Peace.